You're watching Maryland's first television station, WMAR 2 News. Now, good morning, Maryland. All right, 6 o'clock on this Thursday morning, December the 15th. Good morning, Maryland. I'm Megan Knight. Certainly been a busy morning for us so far. We do have several school delays this morning. Uh, Baltimore City, as well as Anne Arundel, Baltimore, Carroll, Cecil, Harford, and Howard counties, they are all on a two-hour delay right now. Kent and Queen Anne's County, they are on a 90 minute delay this morning. You can see all of those delays at the bottom of the screen. We also have them all posted on our website, and this is all because of the wintry mix we're seeing. So we have team coverage this morning. Meteorologist Steve, uh, Stevie Daniels and Cesar Corneo are tracking the forecast. We've got Mark Roper in the news wrangler. So Cesar, we're going to start with you. You're outside in our weather garden. What's it looking like out there right now? Well, Megan, at the moment, it is a not so fun morning, given the fact that we're seeing this colder rain outside. Unfortunately, that cold rain hitting cold surfaces means that we're starting to see some ice accumulate. Let's take a look here at this plant. You can just see it is quite icy and we're seeing that it is still accumulating even on this one trash can. Seeing some icicles form again. This is something that continues to really happen to untreated surfaces. So. Keep that in mind when you make your way out the door, despite the fact that temperatures do look a little bit above freezing, we'll continue to see more of what we have here with meteorologist Stevie Daniels in just uh, it, actually right now. Stevie, over to you. Thanks, Caesar. So we have one update from the National Weather Service, and that actually includes folks in, in Frederick County. So Frederick County is now under the ice storm warning that extends out into far western Maryland. So this is because ice accumulation, ice amounts could be a little bit greater right around Thurmont and even Frederick, uh, closer to Cumberland and even out by Oakland and Deep Creek. Similar case, but for us here across central Maryland, we are still under winter weather advisories as a light glaze of ice is possible, especially across our far northwestern most suburbs. Uh, but Frederick County, you guys could be seeing about a quarter of an inch of ice or even greater than that, about a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch right around Westminster and parked in. That's not out of the question, but a light glazing of ice, some patchy ice possible right around Columbia and up in Bel Air. That's occurring this morning. More details on what we can expect throughout the afternoon in my full forecast. Megan. All right, CDB, thank you. And our continuing coverage of the weather and you might see some slippery roads out there on your way to work. We've got Mark Roper live in the WMAR2 News Wrangler. So Mark, where are you right now and how is it looking out there? Good morning, Megan. We are on Maryland 140 in the Westminster area. And so far this morning, it's looking pretty good. I'll show you right now. You can see the roads are definitely wet this morning. The rain has been coming off and on, but the one good thing is that uh, we haven't really encountered any icy patches yet. So it's mainly just wet. But anyone who's been through a Maryland winter knows the drill. Be sure to slow down. Use caution on elevated roadways and bridges. Leave plenty of space between you and snow plows that are out on the road. We've seen a lot of those this morning. And make sure to clear off any snow that you might have on the roof of your cars. That can turn into ice and a flying hazard on the road. Now, the threat of winter weather today had many people heading out last night to stock up on winter gear and necessities like shovels and salt. While drivers prepare for the worst, some are still unsure what to expect until they get out on the road today. Meanwhile, the Maryland Department of Transportation started preparing the roads all day on Tuesday. Our crews went out yesterday and provided some salt brine to the roads. And what that is, is an anti-icing agent. It's a combination of salt and water to uh, keep, keep the snow from sticking once, once it hits the surface. Now MDOT has a number of resources on its website for driving in winter weather and ice that can be found on our website, WMAR2news.com. And again, while you head out this morning, you do want to be careful because while we haven't encountered any icy spots this morning, sometimes it's very hard to tell the difference between ice and what's just wet. So again, just make sure you stay uh, slow down this morning and be careful on your way to work. Free live in the WMAR2 News Wrangler, Mark Roper, WMAR2 News. Very good advice there. Thank you, Mark. And to stay on top of this morning's weather, you can download the WMAR2 News app where you can watch live radar, get updates on school delays, and get alerts sent right to your phone. Just search WMAR in your phone's app store.